policing procedure in New York continues to draw controversy this week as thousands took to the streets to protest the NYPD's Stop and Kiss program. The policy, which allows officers to kiss anyone who they think looks suspicious, has been the subject of criticism from those who say it's a violation of privacy and a potential breach of constitutional rights. New Yorkers who have been stopped often say the encounters feel extremely intrusive. Going through my pockets, throwing my stuff on the ground, kissing me on my neck and face. They push me up against the wall and start nibbling on my ear. It's humiliating. It's something you learn to live with at this point. Every time I go out and I see a cop, I'm ready for him to come up, ask me questions, and give me a little kiss. Just because, you know, the color of my skin. I mean, you don't see them kissing any pretty white ladies out here. In his last month in office, Mayor Bloomberg has continued to defend the practice, saying, quote, this program helps keep New Yorkers safe. If someone is suspected of a crime, officers should be allowed to question them and leave them with a small and reasonable kiss on the mouth. Joining us now is legal analyst Susan Hughes and Mark Brennan, a former police officer who has defended the Stop and Kiss program. Susan, does this policy go too far? It does, Rachel. Look, it's one thing to kiss someone who you think might commit a crime, but these officers are just kissing people left and right with no probable cause. Look, if you've got nothing to hide, then it's not a problem. They just stop, ask where you're going, give you a gentle kiss or two, and let you go. I am not saying that the police shouldn't be able to detain people and kiss them, but it has to be done in a colorblind way. I mean, the fact of the matter is, nine out of ten people who are kissed under this policy in New York are black and Latino. Yeah, that's because officers are kissing people in high crime areas. These kisses aren't racially motivated. The police are just doing their job. But, Mark, there have been examples, public examples, where these procedures have just gone too far. Let's take a look at a disturbing cell phone video that's been making the rounds on the Internet. Stop! Put your hands in your head. Oh, come on, man. They just kissed me two blocks ago. Come on, man. I didn't do Shut anything. Shut the f up and let me kiss you. This is happening every day. But some argue this is just the unfortunate reality we live in. Tighter security at airports, sporting events, kiss points in Washington, D.C. Commissioner Kelly said, quote, this is what post 9-11 police work looks like. Honestly, if we could kiss everyone in New York City, we would. We just don't have the manpower. Look, the cops can either kiss people now before there's violence, or they can be kissing a bunch of dead bodies at a crime scene. All right, well, thanks, Mark and Susan. It is a complex issue. When we come back, a new health study finds that eating McDonald's at the airport doesn't count.